Hi everyone, Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me. This is the project that I'm making today. The festive season is almost upon us and uh, an awful lot of people are putting up their Christmas trees really, really early this year. Um, uh, they've had some up since the middle of October, I think. Uh, and that's partly because of the circumstances in which we find ourselves. But if you've got a little bit of room on your Christmas tree uh, for uh, another little ornament, stay with me, I'll show you how I made this one. Ahead of time, I have taken my MDF uh, ornament and I have glued it onto my piece of um, designer series paper just using ordinary PVA and I've just kind of you know gone around the edge with my finger just so that I can see where my ornament is but uh, I'm going to begin by just chopping this down very roughly And I'm not being, you know, too particular about keeping it close to the shape because I shall show you why in just a moment. And if you can see the emery boards that are off to my right there, um, you will probably uh, know what I'm going to do. So I have, let's get a fresh one. Yeah, I've got a nice brand new emery board and I buy these in a pack of an awful lot for a pound from the pound shop and I'm just going to just go right around the edge and that's going to do two things it's going to give me a very close edge when I get that last little bit off can you see that's right on the edge there and it'll also distress it a bit which is going to help when I start inking things in a minute so uh, yeah I'm going to fast forward through this bit talk to you in a little while. Here is what I am left with. So I have a very nice finish around the edge of the bauble and now I'm going to start doing some inking. So I've got um, a few of my blues here. I've also got um, petal pink because if you look in the centre of this there is a there is a kind of pinkish area. Don't know if I'm going to use it. I've got Highland Heather, Seaside Spray, Pacific Point and Night of Navy. So I'm going to start with the um, the palest of the blues, which is the Seaside Spray. Now, will this work? Yes, it will. And I'm just going to, rather than take the uh, the ink straight from the the ink pad, I like to pop it down on my uh, on, on my splodge mat here, and I'm going to pick up my the ink on my little little brush here. Now um, Stampin' Up are going to be uh, producing their own brand of these little brushes. This is just a very inexpensive makeup brush that I probably got from Amazon. And uh, it's just a nice little way of adding the ink. Now I haven't used the stamping up brushes yet. I'm going to be ordering some as soon as I am allowed to do so. Um, but I understand from people who have used them is that they are very very soft so uh, I will order a couple of packages. They're going to be available in the, um, the spring summer mini catalogue. So if you're not a Stamping Up demonstrator from the beginning of 
uh, January and if you are a Stamping Up demonstrator and you haven't yet got them you can get them very soon now. So that's given myself a nice little coat of the the balmy blue. Sorry, seaside spray. Balmy blue has more of a green undertone to it, so I've uh, that's why I've gone with seaside spray. So next one is Pacific Point. This is one of the old style ink pads. I may have to treat myself to one of the the new style ones. I don't know. And again, not very much, and I'm using the same brush because I have dedicated this brush to the use of blue. So while I'm doing this, let's just, you know, let's just chat for a bit, shall we? So uh, I started this project, oh gosh, a good couple of weeks ago. And um, it's just been sitting on one side waiting for me to get round to finishing it. And I've kind of got distracted by other things. So uh, if you've been following my channel at all, you will know that this year has been a particularly horrible one. And it's not just because of COVID and all, all of that stuff as well. Um, you know, this time last year, my husband was, was diagnosed with two forms of cancer, completely unrelated to one another. Uh, he never did things by halves. And uh, sadly, we lost him in, uh, in August. And uh, there we are. And so, you know, my my mind has been on other things, shall we say. You know, crafting has, has, has not been the top of my agenda. So, uh, and I'm, you know, and I, I'm sure you, you're all going to understand why not, you know. Like I said, it's been a pretty horrific year. And uh, there was a period when I was thinking, you know what, I may just not do this anymore. Uh, I may, you know, I, I, I may just drop out of the crafting world altogether and uh, did I say this is Night of Navy? This is Night of Navy uh, and I may just you know just drop out of it um, and, and I mean I felt that way for a few weeks and you can probably understand why um, but after a bit, I started to feel that I wanted to, I wanted to do something to kind of occupy my time because I now live alone and, uh, and I'm working from home in my day job. So it got to be, well, mm, you know what, you could do it, but whereas in the past I would have, um, you know, I, I would have said, right, okay, I'm going to post two videos a week, which is what I used to do. I mean, at one time I used to do three a week. And that's going to be my schedule. Now I am giving myself um, more of a uh, relaxed schedule, shall we say. Uh, if you're American, you may like the way in which I say schedule. Because <laughs> that's how we pronounce it over here. Uh, I'm getting myself, as usual, absolutely covered in ink. So when I've done this, there will be a, a short pause while I go and wash my paws. Okay, so I've picked up the the petal pink. Okay, so that's going to go kind of in the middle here, where we've got this this dawn. And I don't know why I'm bothering because I'm probably going to cover this up in a minute. But you know, it's nothing like being thorough. Can you hear my table squeaking? I love this paper though. Don't you love this paper? Isn't it just glorious? I'm glad Stamping Up brought it back because it was in last year's catalogue and they revived it. Okay. So can you see how by adding that ink that has really brought those colours? You know, it's really given that some, some depth. It almost looks three-dimensional. It's not. It's completely flat. But I am quite happy with that. So I'm going to let that ink set for a little while, won't take long. I'm going to go and wash my molars and uh, I'm going to come back and do the next step. The 
these are the Joy dies, um, and you get two, two, one. These are the Joy dies. You get three uh, words, die cut words. These are the joy dies, and you get dot. These are the joy dies, and you get dies to cut three words. So you've got joy, bright, and peace, and the you get three dies for each word. So you get um, the word. Let's say uh, I'm using peace. So let's use the word peace. So you get the word peace in kind of uh, like a narrow, uh, narrow kind of. Uh, font and then you also get it um, cut as a sort of an offset so you get the, um, the, th the the thicker word and then you also get the the big fat kind of bubbly outline uh, so uh, what I've done uh, and I did film but forgot to turn my microphone on so uh, I I won't inflict you on that one I'll kind of give you uh, as I'm speaking now I'll run the uh, I'll run the video over what I'm saying so I cut the word in Knight of Navy um, and in uh, the glimmer card and also in silver and I colored the uh, the glimmer card using um, my inks and a stiff brush all right so that it, it just changed the color a bit and I did cut I did cut it kind of two ways so I had this, the glimmer on the bottom and then silver and then the word piece on top. Um, but I decided I liked it with the silver on the bottom and then the glimmer and then the word piece. So that's what I'm going to do. Now this is a pretty skinny and I did think about using a um, uh, using uh, sticky dots or something like that to, to stick it down. Oh, now come on glue I've only just used you what's the matter with you and uh, you see it's acting up now because it heard me say it's sticky dots and what I want to do is put a little bit of my liquid adhesive down on my mat and it's not playing for me and I'm gonna have to do this all over again aren't I yeah so So I shall cut out the bit where I swore at my adhesive for not coming out of the tube. And I'm just putting some down onto my silicon mat. Sometimes I use the back of my hand. Today I'm using the silicon mat. And I'm just picking up this word piece. And see, even with tweezers, I can get it all over the place. It's a gift. It's a real skill, guys and gals. Okay, so just dabbing that word. My Knight of Navy piece. And I think this is, is you know, this is something. If, if we can have a peaceful Christmas, you know, it's going to be difficult this year because of pandemic and everything else that's going on in the world. But if we can have peace, wouldn't that be nice? So, and since I've got the adhesive there, I may as well dab that in. Now I could use sticky dots here. I use liquid adhesive because glitter doesn't play well with a dry adhesive. You really do need something with a bit of authority. But because I'm going um, smooth onto smooth I could have used a sticky dot and that would have worked. And I probably could have done with a bit more adhesive on here actually. I shall, I shall be firm with it. All right. So let's put that on one side and let the adhesive set and let's move back to the main bauble. So let's add some uh, snowflake sequins, shall we? Let's dot a few here and there. Oops, that was a fairly big blob. Good job it'll dry clear. So just randomly putting some spots of adhesive staying out of the middle because that is where I am going to be putting... Um, the word, my sentiment, and I'm just picking up some of the sequins out of the, the box. And again, I mean, the glue looks horrific. It does look horrific, um, but it's going to dry clear. And I promise you, you will not notice it when it's all said and done. I like these little star ones, aren't they cute? Hmm. 
I've got mail. And you can do as much or as little to this as you as you like. Okay, so that'll do for a start. So before I go any further, I'm going to bring back my my sentiment and I'm going to fit that on. You see I've already pulled those away because I'm going to be covering those up. And this at this point I could add a dimensional if I wanted to. I could make it uh, make it stand away from the background but I think that's okay as it is and now now it's in place I can add in a few more sequins here and there so let's have one along here whoops where I splatted the glue a bit just add in little spots So I definitely want a nice big one there. Let's have some little stars up in the sky because they kind of make more sense up there. Is that one still on my finger? Yes, it is. Get off. Right, so give that some time for the adhesive to set and then we'll come back with the final finishing. So that's had about 10 minutes to dry. It's not quite fully dry yet, but it's close enough. And I have one of these. This is one of the glitter star ornaments and they are super pretty. And I am going to put that onto the front of the card, the card, the bauble somehow. So. Uh, I've also tied a second knot in the thread, which is very fine. I may have to. Did think I was going to have to take my tweezers to it, but no, we're all right, because I don't want this to hang quite as low as it would otherwise. All right, so let's have a look how that's looking. How's that? Nope. There we go, that'll do. That will do. And um, I'm just going to fix this around the back with a little bit of my liquid adhesive. Hot glue would be even better, but that would mean me having to get up out of my chair and go and get my hot glue then. And that's not going to happen today. Indeed, it's not. So I can flip that out of the way and now I can bring in this bow which I've cut in the mesh ribbon and I'm going to put a nice big dollop of adhesive there okay and uh, I love this ribbon it is so pretty okay I'll just sit something on top of it for a minute well, that'll do. Just leave that for the adhesive to grab. And then this will come over the top of it thusly. And I'm just going to just fertile around with this for a bit. Just until it's where I want it. And I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. So this is a piece of the um, of the glitter baker's twine, and uh, I cannot remember the name of the pack it comes in because it comes uh, in a set with some ribbon, um, which is very very pretty ribbon. But uh, it will have been in the in the, the list of supplies at the start of the video anyway so how are we looking there yeah so a time not in that i have something to hang it from i'll snip all those pieces 
and am I done? I'm not sure because I've got this bow as well and yeah I think I'm going to I think I'm going to put that bow in place and again glue dot would have been a good idea here but again glue dots are over the other side of the room and I would have to get up and go and get them so what I'm going to do I'm going to put something heavy on the top of that and give it a couple of minutes for the adhesive to set and then I think we're going to be able to call that finished so I finished it I did go back and get the uh, the glue gun in the end because the liquid adhesive was just taking too long to grab and while I was on my feet I picked uh, a couple of these out of my stash these are the blue adhesive backed gems and I've got a darker blue and a lighter blue and it was the lighter blue ones that I used so I've put one in the middle of my bow and I've scattered a couple of the smaller sized ones around on my ornament and I am quite happy with the way that that turned out so uh, thank you very very much for joining me and I hope that you have enjoyed this video and uh, I will be posting more can't promise with what degree of regularity but I will be I promise uh, but that is it for today uh, come back and see me again sometime soon and uh, I wish you everything that you wish for yourself bye bye